the great Indian buster. Great Indian Bustard landed in the Nanaj Mardi Great Indian Bustard Sanctuary, probably the only home for the tragic king of the vanishing grasslands in western India. The forest department has named the birds which landed after a five-year gap in the Nanaj Mardi area of Bustard Sanctuary, Badu and Chotu. The arrival was followed by three female birds in early 2015, indicating a good sign for breeding. Sightings of the great Indian bustard Ardioptis nigriceps was irregular since 2008. This started creating pressure from the local community, raising questions about the viability of the wildlife sanctuary. The forest department took special efforts for the conservation of the great Indian bustard, especially habitat restoration and protection. The great Indian bustard, now a critically endangered bird and facing extinction, is a center of attraction at the sanctuary. The great Indian bustard inflates its gular sac, which opens under the tongue and the tail is cocked up over the body during display. The birds are omnivorous, feeding on grass seeds, berries, insects and reptiles. In the cropland areas, the bustards also feed on exposed groundnuts, millet, jawar, sunflower and the pods of legumes. Pastures and woodlots established by the Forest Department of Maharashtra under the drought-prone area program resulted in excellent habitats and we were benefited by the protection. People consider grasslands as wasteland or barren land and so the government planted a huge number of exotic trees on our grasslands. Due to this, the birds were slowly displaced from their potential habitats and forced to explore new areas for the survival. The population in the sanctuary of Maharashtra declined from 60 in 1989 to only 5 in 2015. The great Indian bustard needs a mosaic of grassland and traditional croplands as a desired habitat. But now the grasslands have rapidly been brought under either cultivation or human settlements and even industrial development. Grasslands, commonly referred to as wasteland or barren land, are home for huge flora and fauna. Apart from the great Indian bustard, other grassland obligatory species such as black buck, antelope cervicapra, Indian corsa, Cursorius coromandelicus, Indian fox, Vulpus bengalensis, and Indian grey wolf, Canis lupus palipus or Canis indica, are found to be affected by human intrusion. The habitat fragmentation 
survival and breeding within the limited resources is causing a rapid decline in the population. Species like the great Indian bustard, which have low productivity and slow maturation rates, are the worst affected. Species like the Indian Corsa are also getting affected and their breeding population in the area has declined from 100 birds in 2010 to just 22 in 2014. Due to the recently installed solar power plant at Vadala, which is the roosting ground for many harriers, their population has also reduced from 150 in 2010 to 25 in 2013. This number has reached zero in 2014 at particular areas of Vadala. The same is the case for the chestnut-bellied sand grouse and Indian corsa, which need undisturbed grasslands as a habitat. There is a dire need to conduct proper environmental impact assessment studies before starting any developmental projects, especially renewable energy projects, on large grassland patches. The habitat is shared by many small grassland obligatory species like Sykes lark, Gallerida deva, ashy crowned sparrow lark, Eremopteryx grisius, Indian night jar, rain quail, Cotternix coromandelica, yellow wattled lapwing, Venelis malabaricus, and many more. Rosy starling. Pastor Rosius, a migratory species, performs spectacular and dazzling formations called murmurations in huge flocks before settling on the roost site. Solapur being the region for quality Jawar production, the millet here invites birds to the vicinity. Solapur is a drought-prone area. In recent years, there has been an increase in the number of water reservoirs which have been beneficial for water birds and the farmers. Usually, wetlands dry up in the summer, but with the initial rain showers, shrubs and grasses bloom. Grasslands are governed by insects like honeybees, wasps and termites that share a social structure with groups of workers and soldiers. They take care of the young ones. Their life cycle nurtures the ecosystem by habitat restoration and soil formation. Grasshoppers and beetles that are major food components of the diet of the great Indian bustard are threatened due to the rampant use of pesticides. Free-ranging dogs are also a menace to ground-dwelling birds and the population of these dogs around the sanctuary area needs to be controlled. Birds of prey like harriers, red-necked falcon, falco chikira, black-winged kite, Elanus ceruleus, and owls are at the top of the food web and are found hunting and feeding on animals. The population of birds of prey is an indicator of a healthy ecosystem. If their population goes down, then the numbers of their prey species can go up. Birds in the Nana Jamardi area are known to move locally in different seasons and usually return during the monsoon period, which is the breeding season of many ground nesting birds. To find out the local movements of Great Indian Bustard, 
Chotu, a sub-adult grade Indian bustard male, was fitted with a platform transmitter terminal by the Wildlife Institute of India, Dehradun, in May 2015 for a satellite transmitter study. He was seen moving up to 100 kilometers from the Nanaj Mardi area. The grasslands are crying today, and so are the birds and animals here. They need a piece of grassland without human interruption to breed and to exist. Sadly, the grasslands are treated as wasteland by our government. These lands are rapidly brought under development and infrastructural use. But the development cannot be done at the cost of ecological depletion. The changing pattern of land use is doing great damage to grassland ecology and shrinking the breeding grounds of grassland flora and fauna. Chotu is roaming far away in the drought-prone areas of the Marathwada region where large areas are still under traditional farming. The sanctuary now waits for the arrival of its key species and so do the environment protectors Otherwise, the existence of the sanctuary is brought under question every time. We need to think seriously about grassland protection because grasslands play a vital role in water purification and regulation, pollination and seed dispersal, local climate regulation, carbon sequestration, soil formation and development, primary production, nutrient cycling, biodiversity conservation, recreation and tourism and providing fuel, food, sanitation and most importantly the fodder for the cattle. A tragic end. The sudden death of Badu, an alpha great Indian bustard in October 2015. A golden opportunity to study the bustard further in detail was lost. Badu succumbed to a leg injury, probably due to a collision with a high-tension wire. We hope Shotu will arrive in the sanctuary to breed and give this grassland a much-needed prince.